We have previously discussed the one-sided z-transform. In this lecture, we discuss how the z-transform changes if we take the two-sided z-transform of negatively indexed samples. In order to understand how this two-sided z-transform works, let's sp split our sequence into two parts and perform the z-transform on the two sides. Let's also suppose that our sequence y of n takes this form. To calculate the two-sided z-transform, let's invert our b sequence so that it looks like a normal z-transform. Now we need to change the limits of the sum so that it goes from zero to infinity. Since b to the zero times z to the zero equals one, we can add negative one outside the sum to change the limits of the z-transform. Since we know how to solve both summations, we find that y of z equals this. The left fraction will converge when the absolute value of z is less than b, and when the absolute value of z is greater than a. With some mildly creative math, we can simplify y of z to this form. Based on this equation, we find that the ROC will look like a ring. The inner ring is determined by the value of a, and the outer ring is determined by the value of b. If the z-transform can be expressed as a ratio of rational functions, then we can alternatively write the transform as a set of zeros and poles. The, the ROC will always be bounded by poles and no poles can exist inside the ROC. For example, if we had this Z transform, we would have a pole at one and a zero at zero. For this right-sided Z transform, the pole marks the inner boundary of the ROC. In this example, we have a pole at two and a zero at zero. For this left-sided Z transform, the pole marks the outer boundary the region of convergence, and the zero is inside the ROC. The z-transform is a linear function. If we add two sequences together, then we can add their z-transforms. If we add two z transforms together, then we have to check to see how the poles and zeros will interact. If a zero cancels out a pull, then the ROC will change. Both x and y have ROCs of absolute value of z less than two. However, because their addition created pole zero cancellations for the pole at negative two, W of z will have one pole at negative three, and the ROC of W will be the absolute value of z is less than three.